Hey everybody, Luke Gordon, and I'm back with another video about horizontal canal vertigo or horizontal canal BPPV. Um, and in this video, we're going to look at how to treat the vertigo. So if you saw the video before this one, I talked about um, how it's very tricky at times to diagnose horizontal canal vertigo uh, versus posterior canal. So um, really that's the trickiest step is the diagnosis process. So if you haven't seen that video yet, I'm going to link it up above this one here. Watch that one first because this isn't going to make any sense if you don't know um, absolutely which side you're treating. So in that first video we talked about you got to look at geotropic or downbeating um, nystagmus versus ageotropic or apogeotropic where it's going away from your eyes. I'll give you a quick recap of that before I talk about how to treat it um, just so we're all speaking the same language. Um, but again if you're trying to self-treat um, or treat like a loved one or if you're a therapist or a clinician who's trying to treat your clients make sure you watch that other video first because you've got to know which uh, canal you're dealing with and whether or not um, you've got geotropic which you can see back on the whiteboard hopefully maybe and apogeotropic so um, so again a uh, quick re recap and then I'll show you how to do the Gafani maneuver um, depending on which one you have and I've got a nice little cheat that I'm going to share with you to keep things straight because it gets confusing at times so again, with horizontal canal vertigo, we're talking about um, when, you, when you test someone with a supine roll test, you're getting the lateral side-to-side -side movements of the eyes. Um, so that's your dead giveaway that you have a horizontal canal issue versus the more common variant, which is the posterior canal, when you're getting a torsional upbeating vertigo of the eyes. So that again, quick recap, um, when you test then and you're trying to figure out, okay, which side is involved, is it the left or the right, you're also trying to figure out, is the, are the, um, the particles, the little crystals, are they free floating in the canal or are they stuck to the um, cupula? So again, all that information was in the first video. Um, the, the canal versus the cupula will determine or dictate if your eyes are beating towards the ground or away from the ground when you do the um, supine roll test. So again, that's all in the first video. If you've figured it out, now you want to treat it. So you're going to treat it with the Gafani. Now there's more than one way to treat horizontal canal vertigo, but if you look at the majority of the research has been done, which I just refreshed my memory last week on it just to make sure that this was accurate. The Gafani typically performs the best, and the nice thing is that it's the easiest to do as well. So we're going to go with the Gafani. Again, just being said, full disclosure, there are other ways to treat it, but the Gafani is typically your best bet. So with the Gafani maneuver then, what we're doing, we're, let's start with the geotropic variant. So again, if you have a geotropic and you figured out which side you have uh, the problem with, let's go to the whiteboard here. I think you can see it. With geotropic, you're going to go with the Gafani. It's a two-step process. You're going to go to your good ear, and then you're going to look at the ground. And I'll show you that in just a minute. So those are the two steps with the Gafani. You go to the good ear, and you go to the ground. So let's say that I figured out that I have geotropic nystagmus on my right inner ear, horizontal right inner ear, okay? I'm going to go to my good side for the Gafani, which means I'm going to go to my left, and then I'm going to look at the ground. So the first position is you're going to go, you're going to have yourself or your client is going to go straight down to the side, and they're just going to go straight down, so just like this. Okay, head is straight, just straight down to the side. If you can do so quickly, go right ahead, depending on who you are, your client, go quick to your side and just stay there neutral. The first step is one minute. So one minute to the good ear. So again, it's on my right side, so I went to my left. After a minute, um, and you wanna make sure all the nystagmus has gone away, then you're gonna tilt your head 45 degrees towards the ground. So again, to the side for the first minute, straight to the side, and then to the ground. So a lot of times you won't have the pillows actually because you go to the ground. Just 45 degrees, two minutes there, and then you bring your client or yourself back up. That's the Gafani, which is great because it's pretty straightforward. Again, geotropic variant, free floating particles in the canal. You go to the good side, and then after a minute you look at the ground, and then you come up after that. So you look at the ground for two minutes. Um, with both of these types of things then, you're going to give yourself for the client roughly 10 minutes off and then you're going to retest with the supine roll test, which again we covered in previous videos, and you're going to see if it worked. Um, so that's, the, that's kind of the easy one, geotropic. Um, so let's talk about the other one then. So let's say you have apogeotropic or ageotropic, meaning that when you were doing your diagnosis with the supine roll test, the eyes were beating away from the ground. So now you're going to go 
to the affected ear or the bad ear, and then you're going to look away. So it's the exact opposite, essentially. So again, if I now say that I have uh, a right inner ear issue again, um, but it's apogeotropic, now I'm going to go to the right for a minute, and then the second step of the Gafani is I'm going to look away from the ground for two minutes. Same thing, 45 degree rotation of my head, it's just the exact opposite. So hopefully you can understand how important it is to get the diagnosis part right first because it dictates the Gafani and it's basically the exact opposite treatment depending on where you've located those crystals. So the easy recap of this is that if you're doing geotropic, you're just doing Gs. It's three Gs. Geotropic, you're gonna go to the good ear and you're gonna look towards the ground. Pretty easy peasy. Apogeotropic, you're gonna go to the affected ear. Hopefully you can see that and then you're gonna turn your head away from the ground. And that's the Gafani. So hopefully that helps. I know in the research that I did with um, horizontal canal stuff, it gets confusing at times, but this acronym has really helped me um, treat clients. Uh, like most things, you treat, you know, you test to figure out what's going on, you treat, give them a rest period, and then you retest to see if it worked. Um, the only, I think, wrinkle I would throw in uh, if you're treating you know, clients with vertigo is that with a posterior canal issue, posterior canal issues can turn into horizontal canal issues. So just always be aware of what the eyes are telling you. Um, at times, an apogeotropic, you could treat a client for apogeotropic nystagmus with the Gafani, and then when you, reattest, when you retest them with the supine roll test, it could turn into geotropic. If that's the case, then treat them with the Gafani, just the way you treat geotropic. So always be testing, retesting, know what the tests are telling you, and then choose your appropriate treatment strategies from there. And with any luck, this will help uh, with the horizontal canal variant, which can be tricky at times. So again, I hope the video made sense and helped you figure this out. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below the video. Um, before you go, if you wouldn't mind hitting like and subscribe, I would appreciate that. And um, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.